Hello guys, welcome to Street Journalist. Today we'll be looking at the Canon EF 35mm IS F2 lens and compare it to a Schneider and a lens baby 35mm as well. And I assure you, you will be surprised as I was with the results. Please note that POV shots shown with the POV footage are not color graded. Well, first reason for me to get this lens was that I wanted to get a lens with the image stabilizing ability. Since my GFX 50R doesn't have it by the sensor, and its sensor being really big, aside being a 50 megapixels, you can see every movement in the image. So I thought this would be an amazing solution, but I was wrong. It being an IS lens, I think it confuses the communication between the lens and the camera. At first it seems to work fine, but as soon as you look at your playback or fiddle with the menus, it loses the contact to the camera and stops focusing. You have to turn the camera off and back on and off again until it starts working again. So ending up very unreliable for street photography, this lens becomes rather a trap that you constantly keep your eyes on. But other than that, size feels okay on the GFX 50R, even if it is a little bit on the heavy side. Autofocus works fastish only when it is working and the image quality and the sharpness are the top quality from these three lenses of today. As we change it to the Schneider Kruznak Retina Curtigan 35mm f2.8 lens. Oh my god, that is a long name. Its size is almost nothing, yet it has a hefty weight to it, 
It has no autofocus, only manual focus. Image quality is very unique with a unique color rendition and a glow that is found in only the older glass. It becomes sharper as you stop it down to a 5.6 or above. And as we change it to the lens, baby, this lens is again smaller than the Canon EF and so much lighter in weight. But manually focusing it is the hardest part for so much of your images will be out of focus for sure. I stopped it down to f4 to 5.6 for a little bit more resolution. And it renders the colors slightly in a wrong way. I will show you the images, for I ran out of my camera battery on my third run. I wouldn't use this as a regular tool to my street photography, but rather a specialty tool. And the winner is the Schneider Kruznak Retina Curtigan 25mm f2.8. I would rather shoot a manual focus lens than a lens that stops working every now and then. And the 28mm being my favorite focal length for flash photography. In my opinion, the Schneider being an old lens and having that glow ability makes it perfect for my nighttime flash photography. Here is my setup and using it like this is a very satisfying process as if you were using one of the older medium format cameras that used film. And this is the reason for me to choose this one over the others. And being a 70 years old lens, I think this, think this performs super.
Thanks for watching guys. Like the video and subscribe to keep in touch. Bye.